experience I'd like to share quickly. This is my real side experience. Cassie and I walk onto a street and I look to the right and I see two monkeys playing in a puddle in the middle of the road. <clears throat> and I just kind of acknowledge it. There's two monkeys in the road. There was a pickup truck across the street from me. And then I saw a baboon crossing the street towards the monkeys. The baboon looked directly at me and I could tell that it was mean and aggressive. Um, a man steps out of the pickup truck and I don't know him. And I turn to my left to leave with Cassie. And I see another baboon. And this baboon runs towards Cassie and I. It looks like it's gonna rush us. And I step aside and the man steps up and he says something like, he's got this. And the baboon jumps on the man's face. But he does look like he can handle it. And Cassie and I leave. We, we head towards a parking lot and we get into a van. And then I wake up. Uh, vans are uh, basically the idea is people hide in vans. In other words, it's kind of a safety thing for you there. But I would say that's Joni and Harold and the, the membership in the street. And so that's one of the boys there. And so that's why he's saying I can handle it. So in other words, see, they're watching you. And uh, the membership, that's what they're they're. They're doing. They're just playing in the street. They're they're the little monkeys. Uh, in other words, uh, those little animals. And yeah, aggressive baboon. That's uh, is what you're saying. Harold and Joni, they're baboons. That's them. Yeah, they're watching all this, all the time. And anybody that's a part of this. Yeah. So yeah, that one's pretty simple. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you're seeing that objectively so it's not necessarily that it's going to happen here but on the real side what they're doing I listen to people's experiences and as they try to go through different levels like Mikey or whatever and others have had the same thing too they get they go they go through obstacles there's uh, you know soldiers there there's the Callum guards there's all kinds of things there's the military the police uh, these people uh, on the real side so you're getting a heads up here. Uh, they're always going to try and stop you because they don't want this to succeed simply because they're being exposed. And as it comes down to the physical, they're being exposed. They don't even realize it themselves what they're doing. They're putting on their front here. And again, you may never confront them here, but on the real side, they're trying to stop you. They're trying to scare you so that when you come back to the physical, that, uh, you know, just like Cassie, when she wakes up from her experiences and sees you on fire, you know, that bothers her personally because she doesn't know what's going on. And even when you do know what's going on, it still bothers you because, you know, we're, we're set up a particular way, you know, uh, seeing our house burn, even though it's uh, symb symbolic on the real side, uh, you might say, uh, it, still, it still hits you personally. You still carry these ideas, you see, and these images. And it's a toughie. Uh, you know, life is tough, but uh, it's a warning. You're you're basically getting a warning of how they're watching you, and you your interpretation, your awareness. You can see that uh, they're aggressive, and you saw the aggressiveness. So, I would say one's uh, one's Joni and one's Harold, and uh, they're again they're watching all of us. They're, they're watching everything I do. You know, they want to destroy me, uh, but they legally. There's really nothing that they can do. They can play the game. They can try and sue me. I don't care. I was looking forward to that. But there's nothing they can do or get. And they know that. And Joni's at that point now that it's a catch-22 for her. If she does that, if she really follows through with that, because she's threatened twice, several times with me, sent me letters, etc. Remember 2001? And then uh, about several years ago, she sent me stuff. Uh, her legal part did. I never really answered them. You know, I try to communicate a little bit, but then I just gave it up. But if she does, then she's going to be more exposed. So she's really got to stand back. But uh, on the real side, she's going to try and scare you, uh, come in different ways, etc. That's why you're there. So you're seeing this. But it's all okay. They can't do anything. They're stupid. 
they're stupid baboons, you know, just just like the saint. Oh, he's just a baboon. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. And that's what they are. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. That's, uh, that's cool. Thank you, Tony. Thank you.